Are you aware that a healthy mind as well as a healthy body is key to living a great and fulfilling life? And while you can't change your body fitness with just willpower, you do have some control over your brain. After all, the mind and the body are intrinsically linked. That's why we're here to talk to you about your mental fitness, what it is and what it means for your body fitness, as well as give some simple guidelines on how you can achieve it. Because mental fitness is so important, we want to make sure you understand the basics. Let's start with how your brain works. Wait, wait, are you enjoying it? Then don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more best videos. The brain is composed of billions of nerve cells or neurons called neurons, which communicate with one another via electrical impulses. Neurons are grouped into circuits that function together like a single unit. The part of your brain that's responsible for thinking, learning, and forming memories is called the cerebral cortex. This is the most recent evolution in our brains and greatly expanded in humans. It's what makes human intelligence unique from animal intelligence. It also happens to be the area of the brain that gets smaller when people lose physical fitness. Your brain works hard, and it's one of the primary reasons you'll need to exercise to be both fit physically and mentally. So what does exercise do for your brain? It makes the connections in your brain stronger and improves the efficiency in which they communicate with one another. Researchers estimate that 80% of mental health problems from anxiety disorders to depression begin because the brain stops communicating properly. Exercise changes how your brain communicates. When you're in an exercise program, neurons in your motor cortex, the area responsible for movement, grow more. This is what allows you to move better and feel stronger when exercising. The good news is, exercise doesn't have to be difficult to have a significant impact on your brain. And there are so many benefits from exercise that it's worth the effort. The truth is, you don't need to be an Olympian or even very athletic to improve your brain function. Even walking around your neighborhood for 30 minutes at least three times per week will result in mental fitness benefits. Of course, the more you exercise, the more fit your brain will become. Although exercise is beneficial for mental fitness, there are also immediately tangible benefits. For example, when you exercise regularly, you'll be less stressed and able to sleep better. Exercise lowers cortisol levels in the blood, a stress hormone that contributes to insomnia, which allows your body to relax and fall asleep faster. High cortisol levels also contribute to weight gain, so regular physical activity is an important part of our mental fitness program because it helps you be leaner while preventing stress. Here are some guidelines on how to get fit both mentally and physically. If your mental fitness is suffering because you're not getting enough sleep or are stressed out, exercise is a helpful way to relax. Exercise is an excellent therapy for insomnia because it actually promotes sleep by removing the stress of staying awake at night. If you're bored, exercise is a good way to take your mind off things. The same study found that the mental benefits of exercise are similar to meditation. If you can't afford a gym membership or live in an area where there aren't any gyms, don't worry. You can do bodyweight workouts or go for walks. Better yet, take advantage of free opportunities like jogging around the neighborhood. Another way your brain Another way your brain and muscles are connected is through your hormones. Another way your brain and muscles are connected is through your hormones. Exercise produces endorphins, which are natural body chemicals that make us feel good. Endorphins also serve as something like an opiate for pain. Endorphins help us become stronger and also allow us to push through workouts that we otherwise wouldn't be able to finish. There's another chemical in your body called serotonin, which plays a role in your mood and even makes you happy. When you exercise regularly, serotonin is produced and released into your brain, just like when you eat chocolate, which is why we often feel good after workouts. So if you're feeling sad and need a mood boost, try going for a jog or taking one of our bodyweight exercises. In conclusion, there is no doubt that both of mind and body are connected. If you want to be mentally fit, you must also be physically fit. What you put into your brain is what comes out. What you put into your body is what your brain uses to fuel the mind. With Mentally Diet, you need to make Healthy Plate also. For Best Healthy Plate, click on Right Video. Otherwise, just see Left Video.